I am here to do your reading. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Dreams by Bazzi. I had a dream about you last night. Um, so, somebody might have had a dream about you last night. Um, one, I love this song. It's such a great song. But anyways, um, yeah, you could be dreaming about somebody or somebody could be dreaming about you. You could know this person. You could not know this person. You could be kind of meeting that 5D lover in your dreams or you're meeting somebody in your dreams. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right, let's see three Oracle cards for Libra. Address your addictions. Trust the divine plan. One more make a plan okay trust the divine plan and make a plan okay um let's tap into that address your addiction so if you're overthinking a situation or if you do have any addictive tendencies codependencies it is time to let that go um it's like letting go trusting in the universe and making kind of a formulated plan like for yourself that doesn't include anybody else that doesn't involve anybody else just kind of like tapping into what it is that you want removed from these attachments removed from this codependency um i realized that my jacket is broken and a lot of people make comments on that so i'm just addressing like i do realize that it's got a hole in it um anyways uh yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah, focusing on yourself, kind of making a plan on how you're going to move forward, you know, detaching from like, if somebody's present in your life or not present, like, what are you, what's your plan? What's your plan, Libra? Um, but also trusting that when you focus on yourself, the universe is going to bring you in what it is that you need, like stop worrying or overthinking situations, just do it. Um, I feel like Libras do have a tendency to be a little bit indecisive. Um, so uh, I think spirit wants you to like refine your focus right now. Bottom of the deck, we've got the queen of wands. You could be connecting with a fire sign. This could be about you stepping into your power. Uh, sorry, just getting some getting some downloads, downloads about this Queen of Wands. I feel like um, some of you have been dabbling in like magic or learning a little bit about it. And you could be learning about kind of um, dream, dream stuff, dream traveling. And um, or, or somebody you're around is like very, very, very powerful. I feel like this could be you know a, a significant other that's like very spiritual or very kind of in their power uh but let's take a look overall energy between you and another person we've got the six of swords in reverse so this for me is kind of talking about i feel like there's this almost this feeling of going backwards right now like it feels like you're going backwards you have somewhere you need to get to but you're actually going backwards and that could be this addiction to this emotional turmoil like um some kind of addiction that i do think you need to let go of and you know some people might get triggered if i comment saying that you know they're addicted to emotional turmoil but in reality you know we can be addicted to drama we can be addicted to um negative feelings or overthinking so i do feel like spirit wants you to kind of um move away from this emotional turmoil not go deeper into it but let's pull a clarifier that's that's what that's all that's causing delays for you right now that's the only thing that's causing delays is because you don't have a definite plan you are currently not you know you're you're currently kind of spiraling um but it's only because you don't have a plan. When you make a plan, you're going to be able to move forward effectively. Let's get a clarifier though. I'm not attacking you, Libra. I'm just relaying the message. 
Uh, let's see. Six of Swords. The Temperance card. Sag energy. I feel like by by December, by end of November, December, by Sag season, you are gonna get more balanced, more sorted. I mean, we are in Libra season right now. That's the thing that I noticed when the sun's in your sign it's almost like or when this you're kind of having that solar return it's about tying up the loose ends it's about releasing i just recently went through that in virgo season it was a little bit chaotic but now coming into libra season it's like a fresh start a fresh year so a lot of this is just showing itself so that you can balance it out so that you can create harmony that is something that libras are really good at creating balance and harmony um, so just reconnecting with your natural essence, uh, especially while the sun's in your sign, like let go of anything that's not in balance, that's not adding harmony to your life right now. And that to me, that temperance card is about patience. It's about patience and trusting in the divine. If you've ever, I mean, if you're familiar with the tarot, it's like, um, the angels, you know, your angels are working with you. Your angels are helping you. You just have to receive the messages and allow yourself to kind of uh, reconnect with the natural order of things. All right, so let's see. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Lover's card. Interesting. So I do feel like, I feel like there's somebody else in this situation. And I do feel like this energy of, I had a dream about you last night. You have this spiritual union here. I don't know if you've met this person yet, Libra. Um, if you see, like, I, I love how the Hierophant and the, um, Lover's card, they're almost kind of symbolic of each other because it's still the two people. This one's got the angel and the other's got the Hierophant there. Um, so it's almost like, I'm getting like a really strong message too. I feel like you have friends that are trying to connect you with somebody, like you have a friend maybe um a very spiritual person in your life because this is almost like this priest is almost a representation it's like the medium between the angel um and the physical world right so it's like there is there is this minute block blockage like this relationship is trying to manifest in the physical this manifest this this relation is tr relationship is trying to manifest in the physical but like you have to let your guard down you have to let those walls down this is kind of more so about moving forward moving forward here with this wounded warrior um the nine of wands it's like even though it's painful even though it's hard to move forward it's time to make that plan and trust that when you move forward things are going to naturally fall into place. This connection is trying to manifest itself in the 3D. Um, and I, I, we've got Gemini energy here, but for me, this is more about, because I do think that you are having communication in your dreams, or at least this person is. Um, there's a strong wanting to manifest. Some of you might have a friend around that's like trying to connect you with somebody, and it's saying like, do it <laughs> all right let's see the hermit card oh wait i didn't even pull clarifiers but you know what here we go four of four of wands in the full card i'm going to pull the clarifiers now you know it's interesting because it's like the fact that that just happened and i have done how many readings it's almost like you're wanting too much information you're wanting too much information that you just need to trust you just need to trust like you're wanting all this information before you make a decision and spirit's saying the only thing you need to do is just make a decision to move forward we've got you on the information so let's see why this um you and this person are both like searching right now mind you this person is like uh more so in a lighter energy than you are let's see and you could also be very religious this person's going to be kind of more carefree and spiritual let's see um why this high like give me a clarifier for this hierophant please the seven of pentacles yeah uh this is about being patience again building putting effort into yourself 
um, putting effort into your commitments. What are some of the commitments you've made to yourself? It's about really building and growing on those commitments. Let's see, lover's card here. Oh, okay. Seven of Wands, look, two sevens. That's a very spiritual signification. This is going to be a very spiritual connection. This person's got the Eight of Pentacles here. So again, seven to the eight. This person's like really diligently working. Libra, I don't know if you know this person yet, but this person, when they come in, they're going to have overcome a lot of their obstacles they're going to over, have overcome a lot of their challenges in life. And they're going to have been working really, really hard. Really, really hard um, on their abundance, on their life. This person is a very abundant person. Um, I see you being a little bit more serious here in this hermit energy, Virgo. This person is coming up as the fool, which is like represented by Aries, which is like that playful young energy, this person has a balance. They have a good work play balance. So they're going to be a really hard worker, but they're going to have this kind of carefree energy about them. And I think you could learn through this person, through this connection about trusting in divine timing, um, because this person believes that with all of their heart, you know? Um, and, and I feel like you're here searching for the answers. You're searching for this wisdom gaining wisdom why is the hermit there yeah seven of swords the ace of wands and the three of pentacles i almost see like there's some kind of energy some kind of energy and that, that you're almost keeping to yourself you're keeping to yourself. We got a lot of sevens on the table. So this is a very spiritual time for you. This is, you might be going through like a spiritual awakening. You might be um, gaining high, higher clarity on your spiritual understandings. Um, because you're being forced to learn how to trust in, in the universe. But this seven of wands here. Um, it's almost like... Or the Seven of Swords there. The Seven of Swords with that Ace of Wands. It's like there's something within you that you're keeping from the universe. And it's like that could be something you need to go towards. That's that make a plan thing. Trusting the divine. Making a plan. Because um, the more you kind of shelter that, the more you stay in this hermit mode of concealing. Uh, you're not living in some kind of truth here that spirit wants you to uh segue into so let's see this fool card what's this fool doing here and it says don't be surprised like you you might see yourself as this very wise person um but you have a lot to learn from the fool okay you might see yourself as this hermit protecting your energy because you have all the wisdom that you need you feel like you're an old soul. You have a lot to learn from this fool, okay? Um, a lot to learn from this fool, the world card. This person could be a world traveler. This person could travel a lot. This person could be very open and just out there and free from a lot of like, a lot of these structures and restraints that I feel like you have created for yourself. Um, even in regards to relationships, the fact that you come up as the higher fan and this person comes up as the lovers, it just shows me they have a much more, um, spiritual outlook on relationships. Basically this feeling of like what's meant to be will be, whereas you are more rigid and structured and have a lot of rules, lots of rules. Um, so uh, there's going to be, this person could trigger you in the beginning of this connection because they're so carefree and you feel like you're so much wiser than them and so much more kind of elevated, but actually this, you have a lot to learn from this person, um, learning from each other. The four of wands is there. So this is talking to me about a spiritual union, a, a passionate union. Let's see. The five of 
swords. See, like there could be triggers here in the beginning. The hangman and the judgment card. Yeah, hangman here is talking about gaining some kind of higher perspective. There's this need to gain a higher perspective in regards to this situation. Judgment card here. I feel like when you first meet this person, there is going to be a feeling of, um, of triggering. They're going to trigger you. This person's going to trigger you just because you feel that they're just not serious, that they're kind of like flippant, um, with their energy and, and I, 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 I really encourage you to, um, to try and learn from this situation. Doesn't mean that this person's better than you. It just means that they're, they have a different way of looking at life. Five of swords. Yeah, six of pentacles and the death card. So yeah, there's, there's a transformation happening for you in a very unexpected way. It's going to come in a very unexpected way. Um, this kind of transformation that happens here. Scorpio energy here with this judgment card. What is this judgment card doing here? The ace of swords. Yeah, this is kind of like truth, clarity about a situation, this call to action. I feel like there's this feeling here, this person, this person is tapped into spirit in the sense of they are they're very, they listen, they listen to the universe. And I feel like that is what spirit is wanting you to do. Like, listen, you know, not so much overthinking, like your ego is kind of getting in the way. Your ego, your structure, your rules, these concepts that you've created, they're wanting you to kind of loosen up a little bit. Loosen up trust, but also make a plan on moving forward because you do have a big um, change coming into your life. You do have a big release of a lot of this past feelings of defeat, feeling of conflict, because spirit has a bigger plan for you, especially when it comes to building foundations, expressing your creativity, expressing your passions. Uh, they want you to stop hiding it from the world out of ideas that it doesn't fit into some kind of rules that you have. And this person could come in as kind of a divine guidance system to to help you see that but at first this person could trigger you and it could lead to a little bit of an argument but then i feel like you gain clarity and you gain understanding in regards to this situation so i'm going to pull two heart to heart messages from this person whether you know them or not um, and then in the extent i'm going to look more into who this person is what the situation is we're going to pull some archetype cards we will pull some more messages, um, some advice from spirit, as well as the sexual tarot. So if you're interested in that, definitely click, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. All right, two heart to heart messages from this person. When the time is right, I will be with you. One more. I wish you could hear all the words I'm too afraid to say. So this person i i feel like i feel like you are connected at least on a 5d level you both have been through some stuff but the way that you process it is very very different this person has become very vulnerable very open and it's because they've done a lot of work they've overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles in their life as i feel you have too but yours has been more of a slow this person moves very fast this person handles obstacles very fast because of a certain way of their demeanor and um yeah i feel like when you meet this person i think that i wish you could hear all the words i'm too afraid to say you might mirror that within each other but it's kind of saying realize that you're kind of holding back your passion as well you're kind of holding in that energy as well so uh if, if you feel like there's um a lack of like communication you kind of have to assess how you're mirroring that so that's what i'm saying for you guys libra i hope that resonated for you and if you are interested in that extended i will see you guys there bye mm -hmm.